What is open access and what do you see as the main advantages of open access? Well, open access means a number of things to different people. To me, uh, the simplest definition is the immediate release through a journal website of articles at no charge to readers anywhere in the world. Uh, for authors, this is uh, a great way to get their manuscripts read uh, by readers anywhere. For readers, it gives them access to articles at no charge, um, even if their institution doesn't subscribe to those uh, journals. This is especially important for aspiring scientists, say uh, young chemists at small colleges or even at high schools, and scientists in the developing world. So it's a really good match of uh, an author's need to get their articles read as widely as possible, and the reader's desire to read the results that are in those publications. Why would you choose an open access option rather than purchase more equipment or hire more research staff? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question that I hear quite a bit. Uh, in reality, the cost of doing research is actually quite high. There's the cost of personnel, the cost of supplies, the cost of access to equipment, and then there's the time invested and the hard work of graduate students and postdocs and technicians. So there's just a lot that goes into completing a research project. So when that project is done and I'm getting ready to disseminate the results of that research, I want to make sure that it's read by as many people as possible. Uh, the fees for open access that ACS and other publishers charge are relatively modest and in fact they represent a tiny percentage of the total cost of doing the research and because they have such a disproportionate effect on making that research available I think it's a really good investment. Every author has to make a decision about whether or not to publish their work open access. And there's really not a right or a wrong choice. What works for me may not work for one of my colleagues uh, what works for me now may not even work for me in three years. Will choosing the ACS author choice option help my manuscript get accepted? One doesn't have an opportunity to select the ACS author choice option until after the manuscript has been accepted. So whether or not one is intending to publish something open access has no impact on the acceptability of that manuscript. Do you always choose to publish your articles as open access, regardless of the journal? All the articles that I publish in American Chemical Society journals, I make open access. The reason that I do that is that the charge is actually very modest, and I'm not paying anything else to publish in the American Chemical Society journals. The open access fees at many other scientific society publications are put on top of page charges, submission charges, color charges, and the, the cost of that is simply too high for me, and so I have chosen not to make those articles open access. When I got my galley proof, I noticed a description of Articles on Request. Can you explain that program? Articles on Request is another feature of ACS publications that provides access to journal articles to readers at no charge. In this program, the authors of an article are given a link that contains an embedded token. The author can post this link to his or her website or send it in an email to his or her colleagues. When a researcher clicks on the link, he or she will be able to access the article whether or not they have a subscription. The author does not need to pay anything to obtain or to use this link. There are a couple of caveats. First, during the first year of publication, the number of free downloads is limited to 50. If the researcher trying to access the article is on a subscriber IP range, that access will not be counted against the total. After the first year, the limit is removed. Second, the researcher using the Articles on Request link will need to log in to gain access to the article. The registration is free, and you do not need to be an ACS member to register. Why should an author use the Articles on Request feature instead of just emailing the PDF file? 
Emailing articles to friends is a common occurrence in today's digital world. However, by using the articles on request link, the author can ensure that the reader will always get the latest version of an article as it moves through the publication workflow. From just accepted manuscript status, to ASAP, and finally to the fully paginated version. In addition, the reader will see if there have been any additions or corrections since the article was first published. We are also seeing some new initiatives related to article metrics. In addition to citations, journal and article usage are being proposed as measures of impact of scholarly work. By using the articles on request links, authors can be assured that all usage is captured for their articles.